Let's talk about handstand push-ups. Normal push-ups, this is 10. Um, and deficit handstand push-ups. Hollow back handstand push-up. Straddle 90 degree handstand push-up. And straight body 90 degree handstand push-up. Add a one arm on both sides. Handstand push-up in between. So the three main ways I use to train people for the handstand push-ups are eccentrics, partial range, uh, deficit, um, and then in that combination you can then either do uh, freestanding or against the wall. You can do spotting as well, and I'll use that occasionally, but I mainly just use the wall um, to take the balance aspect out and just work on the strength. So either partial range um, or full range of motion um, or just to head to floor. So full range of motion is going down like onto a box, so try and get a collarbone to touch the, the box. Uh, partial range could be two a box or two like yoga blocks or something stacked up uh, works well for that. So eccentrics, I'm trying to aim for around 10 seconds on the, the down. Pause for two or three seconds at the bottom, show control, uh, and then come out. And that's the same either deficit, so obviously that's better, but harder to come down so onto the boxes or um, just head to floor. Um, if you are aim for about 10 seconds, then I'd do around three to four reps per set. Uh, and then depends on your um, training history and stuff like that, in terms of how many sets and what your volume is and uh, what else you do that with. Um, I'd ideally be doing uh, partial range freestanding with an eccentric uh, against the wall. Uh, and then play around with combinations. So if you're doing the full range where you're going back up as well, well against the wall you have the luxury of being able to walk up the wall. Obviously, if you're freestanding, you can't do that yet. Um, so a mixture of the partial range and a full range. So you're getting both the range plus the going back, changing direction and going back up again. Uh, varies a lot on the individual in terms of what they can do, obviously, with the balance and uh, the strength side. Uh, but definitely trying to aim for that eccentric, uh, full deficit uh, collarbone to box uh, is a good goal for uh, if you're walking towards the handstand push-up. And then the next progression to work towards once you've got your freestand handstand push up, and especially if you've got the uh, deficit one as well, um, Rosie, uh, is to work towards the 90 degree handstand push up, which in some ways, once you get used to it, is not necessarily that much harder. It's about technique and learning to take the sh shift in the weight very far forwards over the hands. So practicing that like bent arm planche position. Um, you see this one I just done? This is a straddle version, which is easier than the straight position. So that was um, straight body, uh, 90 degree handstand push-up. There's a little bit of a pause at the bottom. Um, not sure if that's easier or harder. It just, uh, for me, that was a bit easier then to just pause for that second before changing direction and coming back up again. Then zombie press off the floor. Back down, easy with socks. And then, um, so that's horizontal, the vertical zombie press is so sliding up the box and back down. Um, and then press on the box uh, with just some one arm changing directions. So, sorry, changing sides, left, right, left, right, straddle, straddle. Uh, pleased with this because I, I wasn't warmed up for one arms, I just was um, doing press work. Um, and this is comparing, so it's the same drill. So it's kick to one arm on right hand side, both on floor, blocks, and then you'll see in a minute canes. Uh, and then transfer to left hand side, so a decent hold on left. So the same combo on floor, blocks and canes. So that's what I'm trying to get now because obviously blocks and canes are a little bit easier than the floor. So to be able to do the same skills on all three. So there's the canes. So kick to one arm. If anything, a little bit harder on there. You can pull around, but just the height makes it harder. Uh, and then transfer onto the left-hand side and do a left arm, one arm, uh, arm raised as high as I can uh, with control. And then up on your vows, big block. So up on its end. So kick to one arm. And then I lower it down to left arm, one arm. 
then back onto the right side on the big block to a one arm croc and then over to the left arm croc see you next time oh ask questions uh yeah